This is Joe with Bioness. I wanted y'all to have a quick video resource for any common errors that are happening with the L300 Go, as well as errors with the tablet. Uh, so first off, one of the main errors that people get first is they'll go to turn the system on, they hit the test button, and they start getting a error sound, as well as a red light. What you'll wanna always do is when you see the red square there you double tap it it'll tell you that there's an open electrode fault error um, so there's a few reasons for that the first one is a little more obvious and then that that is that the electrode is unplugged so you go to put it on the patient's leg and maybe you did a little bit of a turn and it unclicked the electrode from the port so in that case you just snap it back in and you retest um, the other option is that you've, you have switched between electrodes, between steering and quick fit, for example, but forgot to change the electrode type on the drop down. So that is the reason for the error that I just received on my system. So you just go back down to electrode type, select the correct electrode that you have, and that should resolve the error. Um, another reason why that may happen with an open electrode fault like that is that this EPG has gotten slightly loose. So there's four pins in the back there. You wanna just make sure all four contact points on here are firmly put in. So you can just unplug it like I just did and you place it right back into its cradle. After that, you should be able to just hit any button and then you should be able to retest and that should be resolved if that was the only other uh, possible error for that electrode fault. Let's say in the very rare instance, none of that helps. Uh, what, you, what may happen is there may be some buildup of material in either the ports behind the EPG or the ports where the electrode goes. In those ports, you can clean that with rubbing alcohol and that will be that should also resolve the errors if that if that was giving you the error in the first place. So sometimes what can happen is that like corrosion that builds up, it causes an open electrode fault or the they can't complete the circuit basically. Um, in the very rare instance, the only other way this can happen is if you completely forget to get the electrode wet. Um, so since it's trying to conduct through a dry cloth electrode, that will also give you an open electrode fault as well. Um, besides that, uh, some of the common things is with the programmer itself, um, especially if the programmer is frozen. So what you can do is you swipe from left to right. If it's frozen and you can minimize it like that, then you hit the X and then you just relaunch the L300 Go software. If this does not work, if it is too frozen, then unfortunately what you will do is what's called a hard reset. That is where you hold the power button nice and firmly for 30 seconds or more until it shuts off. Then when you're ready to attempt again, you hold it for about three seconds to turn the programmer back on. Um, I hope this helps y'all and please contact me anytime if you have other questions. Thank you.